Also tonight, the 7 News I team has uncovered documents that show the owner of the Buffalo Grand Hotel owes thousands of dollars in unpaid bills and taxes. 7 News reporter Michael Schwartz breaks down that list of violations and is following up with the owner to try and get some answers. A state Supreme Court judge has ordered Harry Stinson, owner of the vacant Buffalo Grand Hotel, to pay more than $142,000 to the company U.S. Foods for merchandise he never paid for. That order comes just two weeks after the federal government filed a tax lien against him, claiming he owes close to $2.5 million in federal taxes. I called Stinson on Friday. He tells me he's never seen the paperwork for either of these situations. Stinson says there's been a payment plan with U.S. Foods for a while now. Stinson said he had no further comment other than to get his hotel back open. In December of 2021, a fire at the Buffalo Grand caused more than $50 million worth of damage. Right in here. That fire broke out just hours after Stinson signed the hotel to rebrand as a Ramada by Wyndham. Stinson tells me he has been waiting for an answer from his insurance company on whether it will approve his claim to repair the property. The 7 News I team has discovered that since last July, Stinson has had more than $3.6 million in judgments filed against him, including state and Erie County tax money he's accused of owing, along with thousands of dollars to other companies. And allegations go beyond the U.S. Stinson, who is a Canadian citizen, is also accused of violating Ontario's Securities Act. Investigators there accuse him of making false and misleading representations to investors. Michael Schwartz, 7 News Buffalo.